The Big Short is a movie that tells the story of the 2007 housing crisis. Uh, and I'm just going to say it. This movie is absolutely fantastic. It is a must-see. It is one of the best films of the year, in my opinion. And if you're having any questions about whether or not you want to see it, go out and see this movie. Now, one of the main draws of this movie are the actors in it. Uh, this movie stars Brad Pitt, Christian Bale, Steve Carell, and Ryan Gosling. All four of those actors are in this movie. Now, that's pretty incredible if you ask me that all four of those actors are in those movies. Each of those actors can headline their own films. So the idea that they're in the same movie together is kind of unreal. And look, they're all fantastic in this movie, especially, in my opinion, Christian Bale and Steve Carell. They each play an individual who catches on to the fact that the housing market is essentially a bubble that's going to burst and that they can make money off of its collapse. Now, that sounds kind of callous, and it is. Certainly, a point in the movie is kind of the callousness of trying to make money off of this collapse. But these guys are actually very moral characters. They aren't just trying to make money off of the financial crisis. They're trying to investigate it and realize why is this happening. And essentially, they realize the entire system they are working in is absolutely fraudulent. But to me, really, the main star of this movie, it's not the actors. And like I said, they're all very, very good. And that's, it's, they're probably what everyone's going to be talking about after seeing this movie. But to me, the real star of this film is the director, Adam McKay. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Anytime I see a director kind of come out of their shell, right? And Adam McKay's a guy who's directed movies like Step Brothers and Talladega Nights. Uh, he's the type of guy who makes comedic films, and he's usually working with Will Ferrell. He makes those Will Ferrell comedies. This is not a Will Ferrell comedy. This is not even a comedy. There are comedic moments in it, absolutely. This is kind of a very scary movie because it really shows you what went on with the housing market that caused it to collapse. And it's really terrifying for someone like me who really didn't have an understanding of it. Uh, and that's another thing I really like about this movie and Adam McKay's directing. He very intentionally makes this movie for people who really have a simplistic idea of why the uh, housing market collapsed and what happened with the financial sector and why did all these big businesses close down? Why, were the, why was this big bailout? Um, in fact, there are even scenes in this movie where the characters will, will, will say... You know, they'll literally turn to the camera and say, yeah, we know this is confusing. So here's a really famous person to explain it to you in a more simplistic manner. And then it will cut to a famous person explaining it to you. I'm not going to say what famous people because I think that would kind of spoil it. But Adam McKay's directing in this is so fantastic. He's so on point. It's such a fast paced kind of stylistic movie. The editing, the images we see, it's very quick cutting. And I loved the way he approached this movie. And I loved the way he approached the characters and made us sympathize with the characters and really gave us a good look into the world of Wall Street and into the world of the housing market and why this collapse happened. Uh, Steve Carell was the moral fiber of this movie. He plays a guy they all play real life characters, but he's the one that is really shooken up by what he finds out as he continues to investigate what's going on with the housing market. And I was so completely engaged everything every time I was watching. You, like the idea of going to see a movie about the financial crisis and the housing crisis, uh, doesn't sound that entertaining. It's not something I would probably not want to go to. But the way that Adam McKay addresses it, he makes it very, very accessible. It's something that anyone can watch, and you can feel like you get a sense of what's happening and you're also being you're being entertained you're absolutely being entertained while watching this movie so he so kudos to Adam McKay for taking something as scary as that as that crisis was and filtering it in a way that helps people like me understand it better but also entertains us in a way that movies should entertain you and it's not a happy romp or anything like that when i say entertaining i don't mean it's a delightful adventure i just mean you are being entertained but it is at sometimes very bleak at sometimes very depressing uh, just the reality of what was happening back then. By the way, I just have to say, Brad Pitt has absolutely completed his transformation into becoming Robert Redford. He is Robert Redford now. People have been saying that for years, drawing comparisons. He was Robert Redford in this movie to me. And I like this new Brad Pitt. I like this kind of quieter, more thoughtful Brad Pitt. I really liked his performance. But overall, I really, really enjoyed The Big Short. Uh, I highly recommend it. I give it a 4 out of 5. What did you think of The Big Short? Let me know in the comments section down below. And... Last but not least, if you like this video and you want to see more, then please subscribe. Thank you.